Hiya, welcome back to the channel. My name's Ollie, and in today's video, we're exploring and doing some field recording at Venford Falls. In a previous video, I visited the reservoir, but I didn't know till after that trip that there was a lovely waterfall area there too. So join me as we capture some more of the natural beauty that Dartmoor has to offer. Yeah, I'm currently climbing down this super sketchy bit, and I've just seen there's a way easier path that you can go on, which I might have to do when I come back up. I think that this is going to be a good spot to do some recordings. Got some birds over in the distance chirping away. Yeah, I'm going to get a couple of different bits of this river because it's quite nice. But let's get the recording equipment out now and do some recordings. I just want to show you something new that I've got. I got this new cable from LOM. Little stereo cable, like an XLR cable, which goes to the tiny little ones for the Uzi Pros. So it's similar to the other ones on the website. I'll show a picture because I can't remember the name now. It's similar to them. It just seems a lot easier and quicker to set up. Say so it's easier. It's easier when you've got both hands. Hold on. So I've set up the rig here and I've got it pointing just down at the river and I'm going to do a couple of different heights so like closer to the river and further away. Okay, so now I'm capturing a shot a little bit further away so you don't get as much white noise from the water. If you're a little bit too close to the river, it can just end up sounding like white noise. Think of something like a fountain. If you're a little bit too close to that, you can't really hear the sound of the water. It's more just like so pick and choose little bits of the river and get some further away ones so it's not just all white noise. So I've just switched over to these Rycote baseballs. They fit on the UCs all right. I kind of put them all the way over so they cover a little bit of the um, Rycote mount. They give a little bit more protection than the uh, Bubble Bee wing covers. Got a couple of decent recordings here. So let's pop this away and we'll head down towards the waterfall. route on the way back. I think this footpath down here is leading to the waterfall so let's get our trek on and see what sounds we can capture. It's a cool looking tree. <laughs> I like all these little these little fluffy mossy rocks good news. I can see the waterfall and I can also see a proper path that I should probably be walking on instead of this <laughs> bit up here. So this area is looking pretty sick. Just up there we've got the biggest bit I guess of the waterfall crashing down and then it sort of cascades a bit more further down there. What I'm going to do is do a bunch of recordings, capture a bunch of footage on the GoPro and put some of the recordings to the footage that I've got here and you can get an idea of what this place is like. It's probably not going to look as cool on the GoPro but yeah it looks really sick here. It's a little bit like a weird jungle area. I don't know if you can uh, tell by my excitement, but I'm really enjoying this spot just because it's not really been touched by a lot of people. I just recorded up at the um, waterfall -y bit. Uh, I had to be kind of high on the bank because I couldn't get there easily uh, across these <laughs> like dicey stones. And I did stand in, have a look at my shoes, a hell of a lot of sludge. 
And now I'm just trying to figure out how to get across here without getting soaking wet feet. This is the only problem with filming by yourself. You have to do everything twice. Oh, yes. Look at that. So there's the river bit down there. It goes all the way over there. So I think I'll have my little pot noodle just on the edge so I can look down at it. Perfect. I think I've got a beautiful little spot here. Don't know if you can see that up there. All the water running down, running down the mossy rocks. It looks really cool. It's reminding me a little bit of the Brecon Beacons Four Falls Trail. That's a really lovely trail to walk along. I've done it with a couple of my mates, uh, Wavy and Gilly, and <laughs> those aren't their actual names, it's Luke and Jack. Yeah, we camped out at a uh, campsite close by and done the trail in the evening, so there wasn't very many people there. And it was quite nice walking back in the dark. It was kind of something a little bit more interesting. Let's set up all the uh, cooking stuff, and I think I'm gonna do it on top of this rock. But yeah, this is a nice little bit of a paradise. I absolutely love the woods. I love the woods and the beach, especially when there's no one else here. It's just perfect, I love it. Anyway, let's set up this little camping stove thing that I've got and make a pot noodle. It looks like it's boiled now. Just double check. Wow, Jesus, yeah, the steam, steam got me. And today I have got Itsu protein noodles. Never had them before. How am I gonna do this? Ooh, I got the exact amount of water needed. Leave them like that for a bit. So like I was saying before, this little area around here does remind me of uh, the Brecon Beacons Four Falls. It's really worth checking it out if you're close-ish to Wales. Yeah, it's really nice to go out, get into nature again after being in the city. <laughs> oh, that looks pretty rancid, doesn't it? I gotta say, it does look a bit bland. Fills a hole. Should be dry. There we go. I think the next thing I'm going to do is set up uh, a recording rig either here or on the other side and capture both the top of this little waterfall bit and this bit down the bottom. Let me know in the comments below which one you preferred. So the microphones are set at AB at the moment just so it captures a bit more of a wider stereo field. XY usually captures more in the center, but this captures a bit wider. So I've just seen some people wander along the other side of this uh, stream rivery bit. There's a path that goes all the way along there and it goes up that way and across. Right, I'm across the river in one piece and you can come out of my pocket again now. If only I had uh, found this path in the first place, but it's good to know it now. So all the way down there is the uh, river bit. 
I'm just heading up this path now and back to the car. I've just clocked these two things. They look like um, big old uh, Pringles tins or tubes. I don't know what they're made of. They look like they've got metal on the outside. Uh, don't really resonate very well, so maybe not. So it's about 10 to 4 and the sun seems to be setting. It's just appearing over that hill there, if you can see that. It does look pretty lovely around here. Got quite a few recordings then, a couple of decent ones. It'll be interesting to hear the difference between the Tascam internal microphones and the UC Pro microphones, just because, well, they're two different microphones and they're set up differently though, so the UCs were spaced way further apart. So that will probably have quite an effect on the stereo image. Anywho, successful little trip and I'll give you the debrief when we get back to the car and I have a cup of tea. my brew love a cup of tea after a good old walk i think that was a pretty decent uh, outing i was supposed to be going to a different spot which was going to be a little bit like uh wisman's wood but after that failed i thought i should probably check out this spot instead of just sacking it all off completely and yeah it was pretty fruitful i got some decent recordings of some rivery bits some waterfalls and it was pretty chill just to be out in the nature bit without anyone else there let me know in the comments below what sort of recording you like the best. It was fun getting to use the Tascam with the microphones and with the onboard microphones and obviously the new cable that I wasn't able to use up on Wisman's Wood. If you like the video, drop us a like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing a couple more outings like this and I've got some other videos that I'm going to post which are a little bit more musical. But yeah, drop us a like and subscribe if you fancy it. I post more on my Instagram page so if you want to go and follow that you can see where I'm up to because it's quicker to post those reels rather than making a long video. I'm going to head home now and I will see you in the next video. Cheers!